In this video, I'm going to be displaying how to group columns and rows using the OpenPy Excel library from Python. Here's the document we're going to be working with. This is a purchase transaction. Very simple. It has a few columns. The first being the price column and then the second being a tax column that we're going to want to try to group together so that we can display just the items and the totals. I will also be displaying how to group the rows here, two through four, so that we can only see the first row and the fifth row, these two guys right here. I've already loaded up the information to memory. We are bringing in the load workbook function from OpenPy Excel. I am storing the information in the workbook variable WB and then I'm selecting just the specific worksheet we're going to be working with. Down here I'm going to save all of the work we do. So to group columns it's very easy. All you have to do is call the column dimensions attribute of the workbook or rather of the worksheet in itself. And this column dimensions attribute has a function called group. So let's get that column dimensions here and let's get the group function started. The group function accepts a number of arguments, the first two being the start and the end column that you want to group. They are inclusive, so whichever ones that you pass to this are going to also be grouped. We want to group B and C, and there is a third argument that group accepts called hidden. If we tell hidden to be true, that means it's actively going to collapse the information in those columns down so that when we open it the next time, we're going to not see the information in those specifically grouped columns. Let's run this cell and check out what we just did. There we can see that it has taken effect. We have successfully grouped B and C, and we're left just with columns A and D. Grouping rows is very easy. It takes a very similar syntax. You call the worksheet document, and then you call the attribute of row dimensions on that document. And as you might expect, it has a group function as well, and the arguments are pretty much the same. For the rows, you just pass the specific number of rows that you want to group on. They are as well inclusive. So we want to group rows two through four, and this time we'll tell it not to be hidden. This will mean that the actual grouping does take effect on the cells themselves, or on the rows themselves, but they're not actually going to disappear when we open up the document. They're still going to be shown to us. We'll save it and open. And here you can see that the grouping effect has taken effect. It's just it's not hidden yet. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit the minus button to collapse it down. And you can see we are left with the final reporting result that we wanted, this very small, very clean table. So it is that simple. All you have to do is get your worksheet object, access the attribute column or row dimensions, and pass the group function on them, and pass the information or rather the locations that you want to group to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful for your reporting needs. Please stay tuned for more videos upcoming on OpenPixel features.